Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been so long. This is uh, Son Alexander uh, coming back to you with the Sith Armor uh, Bracer tutorial. Uh, sorry I had a lot of stuff going on. It all hit me all at once, but I'm back ready to show you guys the uh, next step. So for this you're going to need a plastic bag, your hot glue like normal, a section of the blue camping pad. Uh, you can get it at Walmart for about seven bucks. Uh, feel free to use anything else, any other type of foam that you have. Um, I just used this because it was cheap and I had it uh, since it's just a base coat. I don't care much for it because of the way the uh, um, the edges look, but fortunately after you plasti dip it, it's uh, it looks okay. Um, and you also need your EVA foam. I'm going to be using this stuff. This is a roll of eighth of an inch. Uh, so you need eighth of an inch foam because uh, we're going to cut it out. Cut out your bracers with this, and then you're going to cover it with um, you're going to cover it with EVA foam because we just want them to be thick. Because if you look at the uh, the trailers, they're the thickest part of the armor. Uh, they raise up the most. So all the other armor is really thin, but the bracers I noticed were were the thickest, that's why I decided to make them bigger. And also as a, uh, um, as a highlight to all the other videos, I finally found this stuff. Thank you Stealth again for providing the information or providing the link for this. But I found this stuff at Sears and Kmart. Um, it's the Best Step Anti-Fatigue Mats. This is the EVA foam that he uses and it's basically the, the, tread, the tread pads, but on the back it's completely smooth, just like the other foam that I was using in the, in the small sheets. But um, if you can find this stuff, use this, because then you can, you can cut out the uh, shapes uh, full length instead of having to glue them together like I was doing. So um, I may end up remaking a couple of my pieces using this stuff, but I was happy to finally find that. So uh, I think $25 in my town, so right around that area. And these things are huge. Um, it's about seven feet long, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, and about four to five feet wide. So you get a lot of foam for the amount of money. Uh, and it's it's right around a quarter inch, so that's the stuff that you're gonna wanna use. You can, you can make the chest out of that um, cod piece, uh, shin plates, all that stuff. And like I said, you won't have to glue the seams together, so you'll, you'll have less seams, which is, which is good. But anyways, uh, we'll get on to how I made my bracers. So first things first, take a plastic bag, any bag, and uh, cut off, just with scissors, um, cut off the little uh, handles. You don't need the handles. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not, you just need a section of it. It's not the big of a deal. And then cut it down the sides. You just need a section of it, so you just want one one square. And so you have a section that looks kind of like this. It's just rough. So figure out on your own how big it is. And you might need two people to do this, but I, uh, I ended up doing it by myself. Um, figure out how long you want the bracer, where you want it to come up on. Um, and then what you do is you take your tape, your masking tape. And this can be, this, this trick can be used for any bracer that you want to make to get a round shape around your forearm. I think you can do the same thing with your leg too if you wanted to make a template of that nature. So you get your and you tape you get your uh, thing and you tape it and then you roll it. 
snugly over your arm. And just go edge to edge. You don't need it. You're not really trying to tape it there permanently. Oops. And so, so you have it like that. Okay. So, so about to here is where you're going to want to um, stop your line, and then probably right around here. You don't want it to go too far because. I mean, it's, you don't want it to cut off. So what you do, take your black marker and just draw a rough circle around. And then do it up here as well. Of course my marker dies. have a backup folks always have a backup and then you want to do a line straight down the center so now you have your two lines take your scissors probably would have been better if I would have done this with the hand that I actually use, which I'm right-handed, but you cut down the line, careful not to cut yourself. I don't want this to turn into a fail video as I slice my arm open and have to go to the hospital and probably get a billion hits though. Tutorial gone wrong. Anyways, so cut it all the way down. Your template. So then you just cut out the rest of the stuff, follow your line as best as you can. Like I said, if you have help, have them help you. Yeah. And you should have a form piece if I did this right. There it is your bracer template. It's not perfect by any means, but that gives you the basic shape and width of your arm. So now you can trace this, trim it up a bit because it's got some you know, foobar pieces. And uh, we're gonna shave this up because this is ugly looking. So now you've got the basic shape of your arm. You see how it pretty much goes together. Don't worry if it doesn't completely go together because you shaved it too much. You just want a basic. Um, you just want the basic shape. So there you go. This should be thinner on top. So make sure you trim it down a little bit. You want to get the, sh the shape right. You want the wrist part to be smaller than the cl uh, spot closer to your elbow. So now that we have that, you can, it helps if you heat gun this first, but I didn't. So. Now, take out. piece or take your big phone 
and your bracer piece. Put it on your put on your template. And what you're going to want to do is, even though you have the basic shape, go out a bit more. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So when you trace this, give it some more room. So let's see here. Reason being is because this is quarter inch foam or a uh, half inch. So you're going to lose some distance, distance radius when you, when you cut it out. So because of how thick it is. So if you don't give yourself a little extra room to work with, it won't go all the way around your arm. And you don't have to, um, you don't have to increase the length at all. You can if you want to, um, but you might end up with something too big. You just want to increase um, the width of it to give yourself a proper this would work a lot better. Get a thicker, a good marker, so you're not dealing with the crummy lines like I am. So now I've gone out a little bit further. So to get the straight line or straight-ish line, just move the template to line up the two ends. So you can use um, one of these. I purchased one of these, but I haven't used it yet. This is a heated blade. Uh, I don't know. Um, this is a heated hobby knife. You can get attachments for your soldering iron uh, to do this and replacement blades. It cuts it like butter. Um, it's Mine comes with an on-off switch, so I don't have to constantly unplug it. But for this, I'm just going to use what I did originally. So just press, use a thin, uh, new blade most of the time. And cut it as you know, straight as you can. You can use a ruler again if you want to. And you're giving yourself a little extra room to work with, so in case you mess up, you can always trim it. And the other reason you wanted to give yourself a little extra room is for your gloves, depending on which gloves you use. I know my gauntlets were pretty darn thick, they were suede. But um, there's your bracer. So you can trim it up, but like I said, give yourself next, some extra room and uh, make sure it works for you. It doesn't have to be completely closed in, that's not what you're going for. Uh, if you got one edge that's you know slightly off, turn it up, which my right side is, because I freehanded it. Okay, that looks better. Yeah, that looks better. So now, what I did, and I actually think I messed up on this originally, was when I made my uh, my template. Um, 
I ended up putting the uh, clips on the inside. That's a bad idea, and I'll tell you why. Because if you're like me and you wanted a full full glove, it bunches. And if you don't give it an adjustable slide, it won't um, it won't stay properly. And so I'm gonna turn this up too because that doesn't look right. Uh, but if you get, if you don't have an adjustable slide, it won't it won't stay, and so you you'll end up making a bracer or a, a clip that's super tight and you can't adjust it, and then if it bunches, it's really hard to get together. So now that you have your bracer template, you'll do the same thing with the EVA foam, but make sure because you're going to be rolling this. Um, and also, you, this is the point where you would heat gun your, uh, the inside of this, because even though mine is rolled, you're going to want to heat gun it and shape it to your actual arm. And uh, where, your, where your, um, uh, your gloves for this, to make sure you know where it sits. And that way you can adjust it if need be. But once you're done, use your EVA foam and use this template, press it down, and I actually got white pens at the hobby store because it makes it really uh, easy to mark on this stuff. Uh, I was really tired of black on black because it, it's really hard to see. So get some white pens, I think they're about two bucks, um, kind of pricey, but worth it. But anyways, once you get the template that you're happy with, then what you're gonna do is place it on your EVA phone, and the same deal, draw it out, but I want you to go farther out on this line. Same with down here, and then do the uh, do the same width or do the same distance on this edge. Reason being is because when you wrap it, um, you lose radius. So if you don't cut it out enough, if you don't cut out enough when you roll it, it's going to um, come off off the edge, and you're going to let be left with the blue, and you don't want that. So make sure that you give yourself some extra room because you can always shave it down, but you can't add to it without it looking cheesy. So you can just hot glue it on once you have all that done. But before you add the secondary layer to close this off as EVA foam, put your glove on, wrap this thing around your arm, and figure out how you want it to close. And it's key that you have your gloves. And then get your pre-made straps that you use for the um, for all the attachments on the armor. Get some nylon straps and those buckles, uh, these buckles here. And then what you're going to do is you glue them on the outside first. So you'll have straps here, and they glue, and then that way they can clip close on the top instead of on the inside. That'll make your life a lot easier. Then once you're done with that, then glue your next template of EVA foam over the top of this. That way it'll hide your straps and um, you won't have to fight with bunching when you try to clip it because it'll clip on the outside. And plus you're going to paint it black anyways so nobody will notice with black armor or with, uh, with silver armor or black clothes underneath. If, if you're worried about the clip showing, uh, I've never found a time that it's really mattered. Plus you can dry brush paint them like I've shown you in other videos and it'll give it another neat detail. So from there, um, you can just cut out all the details with the EVA foam. Um, that's all I did. I just used this stuff and maybe a couple pieces of the quarter inch black foam for some of the bigger raised pieces. And uh, I just looked at the picture and I'm like, oh, square thing here, some more lines, glued them on there. And then uh, for this detail portion here, um, this etched detail here, what you can do is you just take this foam and your whole template and you just cut that section out and then mirror it on this side and just lower it. So then you'll actually have a gap. So you can actually trim that piece down on the edges and uh, go from there. Same thing with this section here. Um, that's just EVA foam. I just eyeballed the shape and wrapped it around. So I had the two little things sticking out. Um, for the hand plates, it's just two layers of the quarter inch foam. And it was a, like a 
shape kind of like that, like a square, followed by a little, followed by the hand piece here. Um, I'll get into that maybe next tutorial. I, if I have, I'll, I'll bring them up here next time. They're downstairs in my tub um, to show you the hand pieces. But as for the bracers, uh, it's just a matter of knowing the details. And I mean, if you want to decorate them more, use the EVA foam to um, cut out more shapes. You don't have to make it this way, but it's really cool with the dry brush effect. Every raised detail that you put on there will show up so cool when you actually paint it. So other than that, I can't really think of anything else to tell you. That's just the basics for um, making the bracer. I do recommend though, if you're, if you're doing it my way, uh, put the straps on the outside so the buckle's on the outside and uh, it can, uh, it'll buckle easier. So this is Sun Alexander. Uh, stay tuned for uh, the next tutorial. Thanks guys.